All right, everybody, today I'm gonna to talk about stem nicotines. Now, this is sort of a newer nicotine in the market. It's probably been out for about three weeks to a month now. And I had the uh, opportunity to speak to um, some of the, the manufacturers and distributors for stem nicotine. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of stem nicotine and why it was made. So it was, it started, it was made because for America to export um, nicotine to Asia, by law, in, in the laws, it says you cannot export nicotine to Asia or any of the Eastern Asia countries if, um, it was, if the nicotine was extracted off the leaf of the plant, okay? So you can actually, that's the reason why they started extracting nicotine on the stem of the plant. Now, this is more review on stem nicotine. I'm gonna get into the comparison a little bit later, but it's gonna be very short. Uh, so stem nicotine, I personally find stem nicotine a little bit smoother of the experience. It is somewhat of a mid-range concentration, and I'll explain what that means. So free-based nicotine, which is in what it's what's in your regular vape juice today in the market, and then along came um, nicotine salts. And just recently, about a month ago, stem nicotine was was created. Okay, so stem nicotine, I find it personally smoother. It's really designed for low-power devices. They actually started making them only, they only offer an option at 19.5 milligrams, okay? So 19.5 milligrams is the only option they offer because it is still a concentration. And the reason why they concentrate nicotine salts and nicotine stems is because when you start to put more nicotine in vape juice, it actually deteriorates uh, the flavor palette in, in free-based nicotine, okay? So that's the reason why they started making nicotine salts and. 50 milligram nicotines, and they put in really low power devices such as 3.7 volts, or if you're operating on wattage, it has to be ran at about, I wanna say 15 watts or 20 watts. I don't really recommend anything higher. Yes, some people, I'm sure some people do use it at a much higher wattage, but just remember, because of the high concentration nicotine, um, it actually helps preserve the flavor longer sitting in a bottle and it's actually a concentration. Now, nicotine salts absorb better for the lung's mucous membranes. Why? Because it's a different process they go through, which I'm not gonna get into words. I'm gonna actually provide a link for another video from a gentleman that I found he was very detail-oriented about free-based nicotine, nicotine salts. Um, but I'm really doing this review for nicotine stem, okay, stem nicotine. Um, but basically nicotine salts is a much uh, broader process, so it's easier for your body and your receptors to absorb the, the nicotine. So, yes, it is a little bit more addictive on the nicotine salts, okay. Actually, just to let you know, as a buyer here at a shop, I haven't really carried nicotine salts yet because I feel like I don't really want to risk uh, harming somebody because I'm not sure what nicotine salt is really. It, it, it is a different process. It is, it does hit your receptors better. It is a higher concentration. It is designed for low power devices, but I find stem nicotine because it's still off the plant, a little safer, a little bit more um, smoother of an experience as well. So I actually have here this is my small little uh, 3.7 volt by eye care and I put nicotine stem nicotine in this here so you'll see right here there's a stem nicotine okay 19.5 milligrams they don't offer it for any lower milligrams it's really designed for small power devices like the ghost here this is a small device here that looks like a jewel or a uh, Sorin or a fix mod of some sort a fix vaporizer the kits um, if you're familiar with those, those are actually really small devices with really, really low power, um, really low power output. So you can use a higher uh, variable concentration of nicotine to compensate for the power of it. Now, if you're bumping up the wattage on your mods to like a 50 water or a 60 water, or 100 watts, 120 watts, 300 watts even that exists in the market, I wouldn't recommend putting stem nicotine or um, even us uh, nicotine salt okay because it's gonna be a much harder hit on your throat um, with that said always consult with your local vape shops just to make sure that you're not 
gonna put accidentally a stem nicotine or nicotine salt in one of your high power devices. I believe it's a much harsher hit on the throat. So just always consult your local vape shop. If you have any questions, leave the comments below. I'll get back to you there as well too. And um, I hope this review helps you guys out. That way, you, when you're buying nicotine juice from here, for, here forward, you're not gonna accidentally, you know, buy a nicotine stem and dump it in your 300 water, 200 water, 100 water um, modular device, okay? So hope the stem nicotine uh, was kind of an awareness to you guys. Keep an eye out for it. Um, I personally started using them myself for about a month now. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I think everyone should just give it a try. You might find that experience better. Now, another quick thing I noticed is different nicotine for me experience wise is different. So freebase nicotine to me is much edgier. Um, like I said, I haven't really tried nicotine salts yet, but stem nicotine was something I was kind of curious about because it's still on off a of plant and it's not processed. Um, I decided to give it a try and I actually love this more than the free base nicotine which is in the regular vape juice okay so leave your comment below if you have any questions we'll get back to you there uh, if there's anything I'm missing or any other details that you guys know more than I do just please leave it in the comments that way we can share with the community um, and I'm also gonna leave a link about a detailed comparison between free base nicotine salts and well he doesn't talk about stem nicotine but Stem nicotine is kind of the new thing. I just wanted you all to be aware of that, okay? You guys have a good day. Just a quick update. If you're not sure what wattage you're using on your devices, uh, another way to determine if you're gonna be using too much power for the nicotine, uh, the I'm sorry, the stem nicotine, is you wanna use a coil or also an atomizer. Some people call them filters. Uh, but you want to use an atomizer that isn't 1.0 ohmage and lower, okay? So you want to use anything that's a 1.0, 1.1, all the way to 1.8, 2.5. Um, sort of back to the older vaporizers power strength. So anything like 0 0.6, 0 0.5, those are a little bit too harsh. So I would try to keep it under uh, over 1.0 okay I'm using I'm currently using the um, what do you call this I care um, it's a 1.1 resistance so you know I get like you know five or six puffs out of this and I'm I put it away I'm good uh, so hope that information helps you guys out